You played Paragon on console, checked out some of the new developments for a new Paragon game, but wonder when a Paragon 2 will finally come to PS4 or Xbox? In this video you'll learn everything about what I found out so far about a console release for a new Paragon-like game. Stay tuned! Hey YouTube, my name is Chris and it's your man Sharks. It shouldn't be much of a secret for you anymore that several developing teams are working hard on bringing back a Paragon-like game for us. We are mainly talking about Fault, Predecessor and Core. Ethereum, you know, is a different thing in itself, but I'm also very hyped about it and it will definitely be released on the console as well. About the other three titles, things aren't that clear though. Beforehand, you have to know that all games have to work properly on PC first, which is the main focus of all teams right now, before they can even think about a console version or crossplay. But how long will this eventually take and when will we be able to look forward to a PS4 or Xbox release? Thoughts seem to come pretty much out of Surprise, nowhere, but now it is pretty safe to say a fan favorite. Predecessor started with the first alpha which was still very laggy, but meanwhile the game is set to run very smoothly, even better than Fault. I also uploaded a more detailed video about this, which is linked in the video description. About Core you don't really hear anything for quite some time, but in contrast to the other games, Core is actually the closest to a PS4 release. Let's start things off with Fault. Fault has made great progress, even better than the developers thought at the beginning. You can see their roadmap for the developing of their game on their website, but it seems to come along even better. I just recently chatted with Jetster, a developer of the game and admin of their Discord channel, and he could confirm, according to current progress, the game will definitely come to console in 2020. Xbox players can look forward to it especially, because the game should be easier to transfer the Xbox due to its PC similar operating system, and so it will probably appear there earlier than on PlayStation. Who wants to support the team can go to the Indiegogo website and give them a donation. Therefore you even get some bonuses for the game. A more detailed video about this can also be found in the info card in the top right corner of the video. So for Ford it is looking pretty damn good so far. For Predecessor on the other hand it doesn't look so good at all. Though the game is running smoother than Ford now, because the team worked hard on performance and it isn't running over Steam anymore, when it comes to bringing the game to console, the team behind this game hasn't took any steps yet. Armada Studios is currently working absolutely focused on creating the best version of the game for PC and this is something that can be shown off very proudly I think. Because when Predecessor is coming around, they probably have a legacy and a monolith map. Now let's talk about Core. Well, you hardly hear anything from Core anyway, so how it is supposed to be the closest to a console version of the games? You don't hear nothing about Core because nothing is happening, you hear nothing because the team of Core, Metabuff has decided to work silently like a real game developing company and focus on progress instead of entertaining the fans like the other teams. I will explain this topic in more detail in a future video. New videos are uploaded on my channel every Monday and Thursday at 11 EST. Now before we get to Core's progress that no other team has made so far, I want to let you know that most of my information and videos on this channel will be uploaded in German from now on. But you will always be able to find an English summary of my videos in the video description. To actually see it though, you have to set your language to English in the YouTube settings. If you don't understand German, you can still look forward to all my cinematic edits and gameplay edits. These will not have any language in them or the original English hero voice lines from Paragon. If you like these types of videos, feel free to subscribe, I would really appreciate it. This way you'll always stay on track with all the post Paragon games and see my exclusive cinematics. But now back to our topic, why is Metabuff actually the closest to a console version of the Paragon-like game Core? Metabuff, you see, has already been agreed to a partnership with PlayStation 9 months ago. However, this is really just the first step towards launching the game on console. But because this happened already 9 months ago, it may be quite likely they've taken more steps towards this goal since then and when they finally publish the game, they might even have a console version of Core ready. This though is only speculation, but it could eventually be very possible. Mangos already uploaded a video covering this topic in more detail as well, his video can also be found in the video description. In principle, all games plan to bring their game to console, but first the game has to work perfect on PC. 
As console player I would say you'll probably have to wait about a year still. Fault could come earlier, maybe later, predecessor will take some more time to get to console and for core nothing has been confirmed yet, but it could be possible this game surprises all of us. I hope I could help you out with this video, this should be it for now, I'm out, so just like always, thank you for watching and have a beautiful day.